Hi, I'm Rachel. Have you ever thought about growing your own vegetables, herbs and fruit at home? It's easier than you think. It's a great way to make the most of whatever garden space you have. And in a few short months, weeks even, you could be picking your first harvest. The best way has got to be raised beds. Today, I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to build one of these brilliant wood blocks planters. Building with wood blocks is really easy. Everything arrives on a pallet direct to your house. It's all wrapped up and all you need is a hammer to get started. You can even get the kids involved if you want as there's no cutting or screwing required to build a wood blocks raised bed. The blocks come in five different sizes and are pressure treated which is why they have a 10 year guarantee. You can paint them if you want. Any water based exterior paint will do. So choose a colour you like that will fit in with the rest of your garden. Before you dive straight in, think about the space you have available and what you want to achieve with your garden. Where does the sun hit the garden in the morning? Do you want to add a growing area for the kids low down? How about a nice seating area to catch the evening sun after work? You don't need to do it all at once and a modular system like Woodblocks lets you build it piece by piece so you can build up to that dream garden. And don't forget, Woodblocks offer a free design service so you can get a truly bespoke solution for your garden easily. Just give the team a call or send them an email with your ideas and they'll be happy to help. They also have an online custom raised bed calculator which lets you choose any size you like and order straight away. We've opted for a nice rectangular raised bed, ideal for veg growing and cut flowers. It can be built on any surface from grass and soil, tarmac or a paved driveway. A couple of raised beds can really bring a space to life. Your kit will arrive looking something like this. You have all the components you need, plus step-by-step -step instructions. Start by measuring out where your raised bed will go. Make sure it's as level as possible. If you're building on grass or soil, a little bit of builder sand can be really useful, which you'll get from all the big DIY stores. Make sure it's compacted down before you lay your blocks. The key thing is to follow the instructions provided with your kit. They show you where you need to place your dowels and which blocks go where. It's all broken down layer by layer and is really easy to follow. Once you've placed down your first layer of blocks, next it's time for the dowels. Just knock them in with the dowel protector. The top of the block has a recessed hole, unlike the bottom, so you know which way up it should go. The blocks overlap layer by layer, which is what give wood blocks their unique strength and durability. The dowel and wedge system is really clever. When knocked into place, they expand horizontally, making them secure and solid for years to come. The corners of the raised beds are one of the strongest areas, which isn't always the case with similar products. They all need three dowels. And then an angle plate gets slotted on the final layer for extra strength. Easy. When you get to the final layer of your build, you need to cut the dowels halfway down. You can use a dowel cutter to do this. It's the safest and easiest way to cut them. And then you can fit your capping. The capping comes in two styles. One sits flush with the side of your raised bed 
and the other has a slight overhang. The flush capping is great if you're building your garden in stages because you can build your next project straight onto the side of your current raised bed. The capping all comes pre-cut, so just check your instructions, then fit your full lengths of capping first. Start at one end and work your way along. Use a block of wood to protect the capping and it just hammers on. And that's it. Beautiful raised beds and planters you can build for yourself. <laughs>